An expert defended the actions of paramedics involved in the death of Elijah McLean today, but was forced to backtrack on one of his key opinions. Those paramedics gave McLean the sedative ketamine after Aurora police officers subdued him and threw him to the ground. McLean wasn't armed. He wasn't breaking any laws. Paramedics Peter Chikuniak and Jeremy Cooper faced charges of reckless manslaughter and assault. Defense witness Gary Ludwig had been on an estimated 3,500 emergency calls. He defended the Aurora paramedics. He said they couldn't do more of an examination because McLean, uh, it wasn't safe for them to do so at the time. He blamed darkness and McLean's bulky jacket for why paramedics overestimated his weight by more than 50 pounds. But after questioning from the prosecution, Ludwig backed backtracked on his conclusion that Cooper checked the pulse in McLean's neck as he administered the ketamine. Mr. Ludwig, all four fingers of his hand splay down flat on Mr. McLean's shoulder. From this vantage point, yes. It is literally impossible for him to be taking a carotid pulse from the shoulder. Yeah, I, I interpreted that as he was checking the carotid pulse when I watched that video. The forensic pathologist who did McLean's autopsy found an abnormality in his heart, but concluded that that didn't lead to his death. A cardiologist for the defense testified that it could have had some symptoms that McLean experienced.